N0 FXB Andreas UK. M0 FXB, just quickly going to get you to load the latest code plug on your Retivis RT3S or MDUV380. So thanks to Martin Lynch, they've got the the this inform this uh, software downloads here on their on their site. Um, they're still um, selling these radios if they're in stock. So um, CPS software you can download here, or you could go to. Uh, this page here and there's lots of Retivis downloads here for, for everything. You're going to need the USB driver so get that installed and um, and obviously you need the uh, the cable that comes normally with the radio. So uh, back to Martin Lynch so just click here there's your on the left there your compressed file send that to somewhere on your desktop so you know how to find it. Uh, then go to the uh, CPS software, presuming you've run all that, click File, Open, uh, select that file, and then what I would do is before you send it to your radio, I would at least, uh, I would change one to your hotspot or local repeater. So to do that, click right-click Zone Information and click, see the way I've added a zone and call it, go here and just call it My Hotspot. Uh, my hot spot. There you go. For now, oh, I spelled that wrong. My hot spot. Um, just add one channel for now. And obviously, you can add what you like, but for now, add one. Um, and obviously, because you've got uh, this is a dual band radio, you can add one for A band, B band, you know, main band, sub band. So add, I'm just going to add. Uh, talk group 9 there and talk group 9 here add I might as well add slots 1 and 2 because a lot of uh, hot spots you can uh, just add talk group 9 and then you can just um, use the radio to select where you want to go so that's done um, so, but what we need to do is because we've added those two talk group 9s we're going to need to change the frequency to our hot spot so Go to um, let's find it. Channel we're looking for channels, so I will find it. There it is. Channel information. Um, go to talk group nine. There it is. There local. So double click that, and uh, I'm going to change the frequency to the same as my DMR hotspot, which is four three one dot five five zero. If it's a a hotspot it's going to be a, more than likely going to be a simplex frequency but unless you've got a, a duplex hotspot which I've never really used with any success 433.550 oh. okay I, I like the uh, let's have a look now everything else should be in here that you need um, I'm gonna put in color code 1 what, what my um, and uh, I'll leave the repeater slot as one because this is on one color code one everything looks fine power I don't want high I'll just put it on to middle for now um, there you go that will do for now click um, you can just click out of that and it will save actually I've done that frequency wrong Okay, 431.550. Right, hopefully I've not made any mistakes there. And we'll go to channel number two. Same again. Now, if it's a, a repeater, like with a shift, then these, these will be to match what the repeater is. Um, and then look up the uh, on their website of the repeater to get the correct color code and slot. So for me, it's going to be um, still going to be slot one, and on this one, it'll be sorry, color code one, slot two, as as with the title. Um, and then I'm going to put the frequency here again, four three one dot five five zero. Delete that four three one dot five five zero. So that's my uh, hotspot added, and also you can have several hotspots. Uh, and within that zone, I'll probably put two or three hotspots, but for now, just do this. 
and then we'll okay that uh, let's just double I like to double check four three one slot one slot one then we'll go with number nine um, you know slot one slot two yeah I can't see that I've made any mistakes apart from the power being high um, okay I'll just have a quick look I like the display to be on all the time see if I'm gonna quickly add that in or not I can do it on in settings but if I can see it here general settings um, display display is that in there oh, I've still got the wrong call sign there um, 0 fxb because it won't work without the right call sign Two, three, four, one, four, three, seven. Okay, I hope I haven't got that backwards. <laughs> if I have, I'll change it in a minute. Alert, scan, power on. I'm trying to see display so I can tell it to leave it on. Intro screen. Yeah, we can change that. Backlight, here it is. Backlight time, always. So I like mine on. Uh, nothing else obvious there. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Yeah, that looks good. So what I'll do now, I'll send that to my radio, which hopefully you can see. Um, make sure you've downloaded the uh, the USB driver first, then connect the cable. If it's Windows 10, it will find everything quite easily. Windows 7, you might have to just play with it a little bit, but that's going in nicely and what I'll do I'll save this updated version of of the co-plug I pinched from Martin Lynch it's taking a minute that's all good I click OK and then I'll just save it oh it saved it in the same file but what you could do you could go file save as i'll put it in the same place uh, actually no we'll put it in pqr there you go and then we'll just save it we'll put my call sign in it m0fxb save so I know that's the one to use next time. So just uh, quickly, yeah, looking at the radio, that's all in there. So get, give that a try. Send me questions, anything at all, and uh, we can, um, you know, we can have a look and um, and see if we can get you up and running on on DMR. Remember, it is a VHF UHF radio as well for FM repeaters, simplex, you know, PMR, whatever this radio. Um, what the frequency range is uh, it, and it works well I've used this radio on my local repeater many times and it act, it works as good as any other handheld I've got um, so uh, yeah please remember to subscribe and catch you on air 73